scheduled content is usually triggered by apps, widgets, or plugins. But most of these are not even compatible with Wix websites. I'm Code Queen Nayeli. Let me show you how to make this totally codable. Join me on totallycodable.com to follow the tutorial on timed content. Find the link on the video description below or pause this video now to get the URL on the screen. Timed or alternating data functions are popular because they help automate hiding, showing, and switching of content on a website. I have developed three creative methods that can be used together or separately on any Wix page. First, I created a database collection with 31 of my personal favorite Albert Einstein quotes. You can read those here. Now let's look inside the editor to view how I organize the data in my collection. Notice I created a text field called announcement, another text field called author, a number field called day, and another number field called time. The announcement field will hold the quote or the sentence, the author field will hold the name of the person that said the quote or sentence. The date field will hold a number from 1 to 31. None of the numbers can be repeated because we only want one quote result for any one day of the month. And of course, there are only 31 possible days in any month of the year. The time field will hold a number between 1 and 24. This will represent the 24 possible hours there are in any one day. Now let's look at the first example. The code will get today's date and filter the data set to only retrieve any one matching quote with that number day. For example, if today was October the 5th, then the data set would be filtered to only show anything with the number 5 under the date field of our database collection. Here's the code. When you copy the code, make sure that you change the name of the data set ID to match what is on your page. The second solution I created was the randomizing code. The code will check the total number of items in the data set, mix all the items in a random order, then the code will be triggered each time the page loads and when the page is refreshed. You can find the code here. When you copy the code, make sure to follow the side notes I have added to guide you. The final creative solution I have developed was the timed content code. This code will check what the current 24 hour local time is, or also called military time, and then it will filter the data set to retrieve any quotes matching that time of day. For example, if it was 1600 hours right now, then quote number 16 would show up on that page. Here's the code. As you can see, I added a timer code to run the code again after one minute has passed by. You can remove it completely from your code if you only want to run the code once when the page first loads. Now that you know where to find the codes, follow the notes and screenshots on each tutorial article to create your own timed or scheduled content function. These methods will not only keep your landing page and website information fresh, but it will also keep you from having to manually change your content every single day. Put your content on a database and let the code do the work for you. Which one was your favorite? Thanks for watching and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I'm Code Queen Ayeli, and this was another totally codable moment.